Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Hito Turkoglu. And I am excited to try out Hito here in NBA 2K24, my team. I seriously believe he is going to be a really, really great card at the small forward position. He's a 6'10 elite shot creator. Defensively, he... I guess leaves a tiny bit to be desired, but really not much. And I think offensively, he will be one of the best cards in the game. He and Ron Artest are the first two cards this year to get their base changed on their jump shot. And he has been given a much better base on his jumper now, making him a much better offensive card. And I think really transforming this Hito into one of the better small forwards in my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content would really Really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's take a look at hito so hito turkaloo six foot ten at the small forward position 99 offense 97 defense 90 driving layup 95 close shot mid-range and three ball 94 free throw 80 standing and driving dunk 92 ball handle 86 block 87 steal 89 perimeter and interior 89 rebounding 90 speed steel ball excel is 88 86 vertical 88 strength 97 stamina 89 lateral quickness so very solid all-around statistical card badge wise offensively he is extraordinary agent three blinders catch claymore corner Corner specialist, dead eye guard up limitless handles for days, challenger, off ball pass, post lockdown, whistle, spot finder, blow by physical handles, speed booster, triple strike, bulldozer. Now, defensively, like I said, he is missing a few things. Like you'd like to see some Hall of Fame defensive badges. He's got anchor, clamps, glove, interceptor, pick dodger, pogo stick, workhorse, rebound chaser, precision dunker, like all the good gold badges, rise to gripper, 94 feet. The only badge he's really missing, uh, you can add rise up brick wall, you want to add those, and fast feet, but a movable enforcer he can't get, which is annoying. But I think when badged out, especially if you add a couple of Hall of Fame defensive badges to him, he will be a really good defender as well. He's six foot ten. Remember that. So there's a lot to like about this card. Now, massive shout out to my boy Mosang for letting me use his account to record this video. This man Mosang has the greatest account in the history of the world, and I really appreciate him letting me use his account. So I will say he does escape is not extraordinary. I think his between the legs burst is probably his better burst. Same side uh, burst looks really good. Uh, he's got MJ dribble style, and he's got Jamal Murray behind the back. So that is phenomenal. Really good drag back as well, and a very very nice release. So shot creation wise, Hito will be very solid for a small forward, although I think his Hezzy is, is one of the ones that you have to trigger only diagonally up, um, like which are Scotty Pippen, Luca, and uh, Basic, I think are the Hezzies that do that. And this is definitely one of those. So you got to remember that if you're going to try to trigger a same side Hezzy. Release his cash for sure. Behind the back on him is super duper nice. I do think there are better overall options than Hito though at the small forward position defensively at least. But offensively, he will be one of the best in the game, especially with that behind the back with a great release and with really Really, really good shot creation ability now. Um, Hito's going to be a stud, man. He's athletic. He is a capable defender. There's a lot to like about Hito Turkoglu, man. I think he's going to be a really good card. I'm excited to try him out. Let's hop into a game. See what Hito can do. All right, let's see what we can do. This dude's got Penny Hardaway. He's got a good squad. Okay, Penny Hardaway. Uh, who is that at the four? Is that DeMarcus Cousins? Uh, I think that's JR at the t I'm not even totally sure. Is that JR? I think that's JR. Get to the rim. Look at Hito. He did get downhill, but unfortunately wasn't able to finish. I have a mismatch here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to dunk the ball with the key with Kareem. No way. JR Smith just got a paid stop on, whoa, on a Kareem. That's crazy. On 100 overall Kareem. He's also got Kobe, DeMarcus Cousins, like I said, Penny. Good squad for sure, but wow, I'm shocked he just got that paint stop. Oh, he's going to get a wide open 3-2. I think he missed, though. We're good. Good board, Hito. Let's get into some offense, see what we can do. I do wish he was a little better defensively, but I'm just glad he's a really good offensive card, to be honest. Um, behind the back here, reject the... Oh, that's so nasty. Hito Turkoglu. That behind the back, man, when they put Jamal Murray behind the back, and it's getting on more and more cards... That move, you knowing how to use that properly in combos is a game-changing move for your three-hunting ability on the, in this game. Good defense there by Kobe, contesting Kobe late, and um, very good job right there. And now we have ourselves a 3 to nothing lead. Now we're on the offensive end of the court. Burst downhill again, come off the screen. I don't think he's there. He wasn't really there, but I got a slowdown anyway. Don't get that. I don't understand why I'm getting a slowdown on a wide open shot. Well, maybe not a wide open shot, but an open shot. It doesn't make sense. I don't have enough. I haven't used enough stamina to be getting a slowdown there, but it is what it is. Look at that Ray for Austin size up. It is so troll. JR is a good card, but that Ray for Austin size up is so troll. He just drew a foul there too. JR is dogging out Kareem so far. He got a paint stop on him, and now he draws a foul on Kareem. I thought that was pretty good defense, but he's going to get points out of the possession. So it is what it is. Um, three to two game probably after he makes the second free throw, I assume. And yes, he does. And here we go. Let's get right back into it. We're going to go uh, pick and ball. We're going to go pick and pop oh i oops did not mean to do that okay my fault um let's play some defense here um step up on him with hito hito at 610 does have the switchability to guard bigger to guard bigs a lot better than a lot of guys are going to for example 
a Embiid. I don't think that is a horrific size matchup. Again, like he's not the greatest defender in the world stat and badge wise, but animation wise and size wise, he can at least compete. That why am I getting slowdowns? I don't understand that. That's twice. That makes no sense to me at all. I, okay, I guess um, he's still on Demarcus Cousins, and honestly, like I said, I'm still not all that worried about these size disadvantages. So that is one of the positives about this card. I am so annoyed that I've gotten two slowdowns in a row on open shots. That doesn't make any sense. Um, let's play good defense here. Let's recover back out to the three-point line. Let's get ourselves a contest. We do exactly that. Very nice job. All right, run the floor. Um, I'm going to find Hito in transition when we can. Here we go. There we go. Now we're going to reject the screen with again with the behind the back, and we're going to shoot it again. And that time I get... I try to hold it down longer that time and I get sped up. I, I do not know about the shooting of this game sometimes. I mean, was that a good shot selection? No. I'm not going to blame the game for that. But at the same time, bro, like, come on. Fade for Mojito. Good shot. That's a nice fade. Oh, my gosh. I can't shoot right now. What is going on? You got in a great offensive card. But that time I saw me, I just missed his fade wide open. That's tough. Uh, really, really struggling this game, to be honest. But it is what it is. At least the switchability defensively is there. We did get a three to start off the game. But since then, we've really been struggling. Bad shot. Board. Thank you. Run the floor. Throw it up there. Swing it back to Hito across the opposite side of the court. And let's see again. Let's try it again, I guess. Uh, drag back. Attack this way. He's not even clicking on or anything. Um, okay, there we go. That's a three. Come on, Hito. Green that one. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you using your movement very effectively getting off a three there. He should probably have nine or four or uh, 12 points even, but he's only got six right now. It's all right, though. Like I said, he is a offensively minded small forward. I don't know if he is a primary ball handler small forward, though. Those are different things. I think his defensive versatility is more based on his size than his actual stats and badges, although if you do upgrade those stats and badges, um, it will help him out on the defensive end of the court. Offensively, he has a lot of versatility, which is really nice. Nice spin jump shot there. That's a really nice move, and he greens it too. Very nice. Hito Turkoglu. Um, We haven't executed quite as well as I would have liked in this game, but I do think Hito's a really good card. Like, I think he's going to be a good option at the uh, at the small forward position in my team. That should be... Uh, he's trying to get a stand. A good recovery defensively. Step up here. Go play the behind the back. Play the blow by and another block. Very good defense. Um, like, Hito is certainly not a defensive liability. That I will say. He's he's done a good job defensively. Great on-ball defense as well. Doing a really good job of staying in front of JR. He actually got a wide open shot though somehow, but it is what it is. That's another open. That's another green. Come on, Hito. Let's go, man. Now we're cooking offensively. Getting the ball in transition and getting ourselves another other open three ball and now it's an 11 we have 11 points and i think oh well, i thought he was about to quit but i guess not this has not been like i said our most efficient offensive game possible but hito's actually played really well and defensively i have been impressed by what i've seen as well i think he's very viable as a, a small forward option if you were to get this card is he worth gambling for absolutely not but if you do get hito he's a good opal i would say the best opals today are Cade on our test and then hakeem probably but hito's a good card himself as well he might only be the fourth best opal i should have greened that by the way but he might only be quote unquote the fourth best opal from today's drop but this is one of the best opal drops we've seen all year unfortunately because I don't think this gambling only stuff is good at all. I hate it. But this is definitely a better Opal drop than the last couple weeks anyway, I would say, in terms of the depth of it. And Hito, he gets slowed down again there on a late contest. I hate that. I hate not being able to get that shot off, especially when I'm tired. I know I can't get that shot off. Like, that's really unfortunate. This dude did not score the ball enough to give himself a good chance. I only had 11 with Hito. Definitely could have been a better game, but you know what? It is what it is, and the efficiency wasn't amazing. Yes, 4 of 11, 3 of 9 from 3. A couple of that was my fault. A couple of those were maybe the game's fault, and a couple of those were just poor shot selections. But um, Hito's a good card for sure. I don't think he's quite as good as a few of the, as the other apples I've done gameplays on so far, at least, but... He's a very, very solid option in my team at the small forward position. Definitely not worth gambling for at all, though. So I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.